everybody! Welcome to the Fit and Fearless Female Show! I'm your host, Steph Hendel. I am hanging out with my good friend, MC, right now, who might be a guest on the show. If you don't know him, he is a new cat that I found outside, and he might be our cat. I don't know. But can you see? Oh, I think you can see him. He's kind of like hanging out over here. Um, anyway, the topic of today's show is how to have a healthier body start by doing this. So I'm going to show you how to get started. I have a question or I get lots of questions from a lot of people who say, I want to get healthier, but I have no idea where to start. So I am going to show you exactly where to start. Hi, everybody who's just turning in. Yay. I think we're gonna have a really great show today. Um, we're gonna have a lot of people here. So let's start by just saying hi. Say hi to me, let me know who's here. Let me know where you're tuning in from, what state are you in, what country are you in. Let's hang out. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you some secrets that I have and some top tips that I have for you today. Um, while we're waiting for everybody to join on and say hello, I am going to share our group or share this Facebook Live in my Body Built by Love family group, which if you're not a member of that already, join. It's completely free. So much motivation and good stuff in that group. It's amazing. So you just type in Body Built by Love family. It's a private group. Request access to join and it'll go to me and then I'll put the approve button and you'll be in. So make sure you do that if you haven't already. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going live um, and I'm sharing my post to my group. So how to do that? Because you guys, I want you to go on and share this on your page as well. So people can see that you're watching this or people can watch it with you. Any of your friends or family, if they're wanting to get in better shape, have a healthier body, this is the perfect episode for them to watch. So make sure you share this. I have so many good tips for you today. So much, so much, so much, so much. Sorry for yelling. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so right now, while I'm waiting for you all to join in and while I'm waiting for everybody to um, say where they're joining in from, say hello, tell us what state and what country you're joining in from, I am sharing this on my Body Built by Love group page. So make sure you go on and share it and do the same. So you just, there's a little share button at the bottom and um, you just hit share and then you pick where you want to share it and then everybody else can join in. So, okay, putting that up on my page. I'm gonna put that on my business page as well, which is just my name, Steph Hendel. And we will get started. So I have a ton of really good info for you. Things that are simple, easy to take action on, and uh, I wanna take questions too. So if you have any questions for me, guys, I am here for you. I am here for you. So, okay, posting that, okay. We're po we're, we got the post up. Everybody in the groups is gonna start joining in and um, all your friends and fam can join in too now that you're sharing it on your page. So just hit that button below and, and share it. So if you don't know anything about me, my name is Steph Hendel and I'm a certified health coach. I'm a certified personal trainer. I'm a mindset and emotional breakthrough expert. I'm um, also a model and an actress, just for fun on the side. So what I do is I help women specifically to break through any blocks that they might have regarding their bodies. So I'm not exactly, like I can give you food guides and I can give you fitness guides. I have all that stuff. That's something you can do for sure. Um, and some people do that and they get results and they're like, yay! but I'm not that person. Um, I'm very mindset based. So I work with the people who have had struggles in losing weight. They've tried the fitness guides. They've tried the food. They're not losing weight. They're plateauing or they're stuck or they're just not following through. So if that's the case that I am your coach for that. So I work with the mindset. You have limiting beliefs. You have blocks around your body and it could go way back. It could be close up. Whatever it is, we break through to it. We find out what that is and we bust through that so that you can actually start following through because it should be easy for you. That's the myth is that everybody thinks health should be hard. It shouldn't. If health is hard, then you're doing it the wrong way. There's a much easier way, much more fun. So that's what I do. I'm that coach. So 
you know, if that's the kind of person that you're looking for in your life, then reach out to me. I can talk to you about what kind of courses and programs and everything I have. So yay, let's see who's on and then let me get right into my tips and my details and everything for you guys. I'm gonna give you how to get started on having a healthy body. So let's see. Ooh, we got a lot of people. Mike's here. Hi, Mike. Hi, Karen. Hi, Melissa. Vancouver Island. Whoop, whoop. I've never been there. Oh, Stephanie is joining from Mexico. Nice. Andrea is a fellow IINer. Yeah, I went to IIN. I love that school. That was one of the best things I ever did. Um, the place is amazing. So if you're just joining in, let us know where you're tuning in from, what state are you tuning in from, what country are you coming in from. Gina's here, hi Gina. And we're gonna get right into tips and info. So you wanna get a healthier body, right? But where do you start? There's so much information everywhere. Like, it's just like, this person says to do this, and this person says to do that, and you tried this, and it didn't work, and you tried that, and it didn't work. So if that's where you are right now, I got you. I got you. So there are a few simple things you can do. And the number one thing is to start small and keep it simple. Because when you don't start small, I guess we're going to ditch the blanket because it looks like Kitty Cat's not joining us today. <laughs> he's, on, he's on his own schedule. So if you are getting into this, a lot of people bite off way more than they can chew and they start thinking, oh my gosh, I have to do, I have to commit to all these things. But no, it, just start off small and I've got some stuff for you, like little things you can do to start small. Um, but it's, the thing I want you to do in regards to fitness specifically is pick something that sounds fun to you. So in the grand scheme of all things fitness, there are some things that you're like, yeah, I have no desire for that. And then there's some things that you're gonna be like, that sounds amazing. I would love to go for a hike or I'd love to go for a walk, you know? Um, when I first started getting healthier, um, I had no desire to go to spin class. I remember being like, that looks like the hardest workout of my life. And I remember hearing people talk about it and just thinking like, that's for intense people and I'm just not there yet. So don't think you have to go to spin class if spin class feels intimidating for you. Start with something that feels good, something that is attractive to you. You know, if you're like, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting out and going for a walk or I wouldn't mind, um, you know, whatever, whatever it is. You know, everybody is so unique and everybody is so different that um, I wanna make sure that you're doing what's right for you. Because if you do something for someone else, it's only gonna last so long. Don't we all know that to be the truth? It's like with anything in your life, if you do it for someone else, it's only going to serve you for a certain amount of time. And then when the sparkle wears off or the person goes away, then you lose sight of the goal. So you have to pick something that you actually like. Thank you for the hearts. Yeah, something that you actually like and you actually love. And in that case, you'll be able to maintain it. And it's gonna be something that you keep for your whole life. And that makes a difference. So Gina says, yeah, right? It's overwhelming the amount of information. Yeah, it's nuts. It's like constant. And it's like, especially if you listen to like the media and the radio and TV and all that stuff, it's just like constantly like, do this body wrap, do that weight loss technique, take this pill, you know, all these different things. And it's like, the most helpful information I could give you right now is your body knows what to do. It knows. Without all this other information and all these people telling you what to do, your body knows what to do. Your body knows how to heal itself. It's made to heal itself. And when we try and get in the way and try and add all this other stuff in, that's where it gets confusing is because intuitively we know, but we're so out of touch with ourselves and so out of touch with our bodies. When I first got on my health journey, I was like so far out of touch. I had no idea what I needed or wanted. I was like, whoa, it was just not, I was not tuned in. <laughs> So I've learned how to get tuned in and it makes a big difference. But number one, number one, if you want a healthier body, start small and with fitness, pick something that sounds fun to you. So right now, comment what sounds fun to you? What's some kind of like movement or fitness thing that actually sounds like, yeah, you know what? I wouldn't mind doing that because here's what happens is when you pick something that you're like, I wouldn't mind doing that. You do it and you feel good doing it. 
And you don't overdo it, by the way. If you pick something that, that sounds fun, like a hike, don't do like an eight mile hike because you're gonna build up a bad association. Everybody's walking around with bad associations to fitness and to food. And that's where I come in as a coach. I'm like, okay, here's why you have these bad associations and here's how we can switch them around and give you something that you do love, like switch it to loving it again because you, here's why you built the associations, whatever. Anyway, start small, start by picking something that is fun to you. Fun changes the body. Science shows that our cells respond to our thoughts. So if you're doing something you hate, your cells are building your future body with hateful thoughts. Not good. That's not a body built by love. That's why I came up with the name body built by love for my course, because you want to build that body from a, a space of loving thoughts, kind, loving things. I'm going to read a couple comments really quick. Lisa says, how do you handle late night cravings? I always go overboard. That's a really good question, Lisa. So late night cravings are something that used to get me big time. And I actually had a coaching call with somebody recently and she was saying that, you know, one of her things that she couldn't get over was that she would always eat. She'd wake up in the middle of the night and eat. Um, and it's a big misconception when we're craving food that we think that something might be wrong with us or something's bad. It's not bad at all. A craving is your body just telling you it needs something, that it's deficient in something. And nine times out of 10, um, when a body is deficient and we're getting cravings, especially late night cravings, you're craving something emotionally. And the emotional cravings are the most powerful ones. So sometimes you're just craving nutrients, like your body needs some vitamin A or vitamin C and then you eat some food with that in it and you feel really good. But nine times out of 10, it's emotional. You're craving something else. There's something else in your life that you want and you're not getting it. For a lot of people, it's love. For some people, it's a career. For some people, it's different for everybody and that's what my courses get into. Really, like I have a lot of um, written exercises, things that you do um, that will shift your brain and shift how you think about food and your body and you start to understand yourself better. And from that space, girl, everything changes. So that's a big part of late night cravings. Um, okay, so Mike says jogging in the sand of the beach. That's a great one. That's really fun. Uh, Lisa says dancing. Dancing's so fun. Dancing's the best. And Melissa's is yoga. Yoga's amazing. So good. Gina's doing hot yoga two to three times a week. Um, let's see. Is that enough to stay healthy? It walks five miles a couple days a week. Yeah, that's beautiful, that's amazing. That's a lot of good activity. Thing to remember, you should be moving every single day. And that doesn't mean a big, long, crazy workout, but it does mean moving. So a lot of us are very stagnant, we sit all day. And what happens when we sit is our bodies, our muscles get tight and they get tight in a position that's not normal for us. So even if you're just getting up to stretch, it's important to do that. I feel it in my body. If, I, if I'm doing like a launch for a product or something and I'm sitting and I'm on the computer a lot and I'm just creating and I don't get up to stretch, I feel it. And that's where muscle tightness and pain and soreness in the body can come from if you're sitting too long. So if you imagine the sitting position, you know, you're in a position like this, and if you sit like this all day long, this is where your hips are. Your hips start to contract into that position. Your back starts to contract into that position. Your arms start to contract into that position. And so all the, all the muscles start to train themselves to be in this position. Not healthy and not good. So then when you try and do a workout or something and you start to go out of that position and you bring your chest forward and you stand up and your hips open, it's like, ow, you know, and it, you hurt yourself or maybe you could start to get some low back pain. All these things are just because the muscles are tightening into a position where we're sitting all day long. Um, and when you sit, it's not good. So get up and do anything, go for a walk, Stretching is amazing, yoga is amazing. It's really, really good to make sure that you all day long are just getting your body moving. Every once in a while, just get up. Josh is amazing at that. He does office ergonomics where he'll go into businesses and he'll teach them just simple moves that they can do throughout their day to be more mobile and healthy. So 
he's an amazing person for that. If you all, uh, if any of you guys are business owners and you want him to come in and do a workshop for you guys, it's game changing. Or just personal stuff. He does personal coaching too. And we both do stuff via the internet. Mostly my stuff is on the internet, but okay, I'm gonna get into my next tip. Um, so in terms of getting a healthier body and starting small, starting simple, that's the first one. You gotta pick something that is manageable. Don't pick something like crazy. So for food, you wanna do, like just start with breakfast. Don't think you're gonna restructure your entire meal plan immediately. That's a lot. That's a lot of work. It's a big commitment and that's a lot of bad mental associations. As a, as a health coach who's focused on mindset, I just see it coming and I'm like, oh gosh, train wreck. You're never going to want to eat healthy again. Oh my gosh, you took on way too much at once. So don't do that. Don't take on too much at once. Or like somebody who's like, oh my gosh, you know, I got to get healthy. I'm just going to buy a cleanse. I'm going to do a week long cleanse. This is you. Guys, it's so extreme. Like, if you're already like into that stuff and it's good and it's fun for you, beautiful. But like for most people, they're just like, oh, I just need to get healthier. Let me just do a juice cleanse. A juice cleanse is really intense. And only drinking juice and not eating food for a week can really bat build a lot of bad associations in your brain. Think of juice as like a supplement. And like, if you're trying to like heal yourself of an illness or something really serious, juice, amazing. When you're like dead serious about something, that is a great thing to do. But on a regular basis, like use juice as like a way to get extra nutrients. Like, oh, you know, today I'll have a, a charcoal juice or today I'll have a green juice or today I'll have a red juice, whatever. You know, use it as like supplements, not like Sorry about that, we lost connection there, and I'm not sure why, but let's get into our next tip. So another thing that you can do in order to start getting a healthier body is shift your mood and your mindset. I call these the two M's in my courses. So the M and M is mood and mindset. Your mood and your mindset control how you feel. So your energy level is completely amplified when you are in full control of your mood and your mindset. So, you know, a lot of people let other things control their mood. They'll be like, oh, this person was so rude to me, right? And then their whole mood is changed because of this person being rude to them. Newsflash, the person being rude to you has nothing to do with you and everything to do with whatever they're going through. So the more you take on somebody else's energy, the less energy you have, you give it away. So imagine, we, do, we talk about this in all of my courses. So imagine like you have a box, right? And this box has stuff in it. All this stuff is your thoughts and your feelings and your emotions and how healthy you want to be and all this stuff, right? And it's all filling in this box. And when you have other people coming in and like affecting you in that way where you're just like, oh, I can't believe she said that or I can't believe he did that or I can't believe they treated me like that or I can't believe that happened. Why did this happen to me? Those are all thoughts that fill up your box. And if the box is full, it can't fit anything else in. So if what you want is a healthier body, a better relationship, more fun in your life, good things, then they can't, none of that stuff can fit in. There's no space for it. There's no room. So you've got to let go of all the extra things that shift you out of a good mood, a mood that feels really um, powerful and strong to you. So when you have a strong mood and mindset, you're going to have all the energy in the world to have a healthier body. Because isn't that really one of the main things, having the motivation? And motivation usually comes from your mindset or motivation comes from energy. If you have a lot of energy, you're going to be like, I want to move. I want to go move my body. I want to go be active. And when you're doing that, that's when you really feel strong and amazing. And so it's really important that you have that mood, you got the mindset, you've got those two things under control. And if that's something that you feel completely out of control with, definitely check out one of my courses. I have Body Built by Love starting in March. So I'm gonna be starting to put out like a pre-sale thing for that pretty soon. Keep your eyes peeled for that. 
Um, starting small and then the other thing is love. You gotta love yourself, right? I, before I lost my 30 pounds and got healthier, I used to be sick all the time. I used to have headaches, migraines, uh, I used to be on all kinds of medications, I was, I had bad skin, every, uh, everything, like I was a mess, I just like, I wasn't healthy, I wasn't well, and I was trying to lose this weight, and it was so challenging and complicated, I was overeating and binge eating and yo-yoing and all that stuff, and all of it corresponded with the fact that I was constantly hypercritical of myself. I was so mean to myself, always judging myself, always criticizing myself, always comparing myself to every other woman I saw, and then putting the pressure on myself. Well, why can't I look like her? Why, you know, why can't I follow through on my workouts? Why can't I eat better? Why am I binging? You know, why, if I didn't do that, I would look like her. And those are toxic thoughts. Those are really, that's not building your body with love. That's building your body with hate and criticism and shame and judgment. I would go to sleep at night and I would be like, man, I can't believe another day went by and I, again, I didn't, I didn't follow through on my healthy lifestyle. I woke up in the morning, I said, I'm gonna be healthy today. And again, I didn't follow through. It's a really painful state to be in. And now I get to wake up in the morning and feel energized, I feel healthy, I feel good. You know, I just, I just have energy for life. And when you have energy for life, a lot of times that comes from eating nourishing food, from moving your body and having a really clean mindset. You know, you, your mindset is just pure cleanliness. It's just healthy, it's love. When you come from a space of giving yourself love instead of hate when you look in the mirror, love instead of hate when you try on your clothes, love instead of hate when you're doing whatever you're doing, you're gonna have more energy. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna wanna do more. So. I really want to make sure that you guys have that in your wheelhouse. And every course I do has this in it. I have a nine minute workout course that's for people who are just starting out. So if you're just new to this, if you're just starting out with everything, check out my nine minute workouts because not only is it a workout that's simple and easy to do and only nine minutes long, but they're full of love shifting mindset. So the whole time I'm talking to you through the whole nine minutes and I'm reminding you what's amazing, what's a gift in your life, why you are good enough, why you're healthy enough, why it's okay if you're breathing heavy or it's challenging. Like I move you through it. I walk you through it because I get what that's like and I don't need you beating yourself up when you work out. There's too much of that going on in the world and it used to go on in my world, in my head, all the time and it was awful. And now when I work out, it's from a place of love, I'm feeling amazing, I'm feeling energized, I love the way I feel. You know, I just have that zest for life and like anything is possible. I wake up with so much excitement to live the day because it's just, I'm coming from a place that feels good. So I want you to experience that if you're not feeling it right now, if you are in that space of criticism and judgment and fear and pain and shame and just comparing yourself and feeling disappointed all the time, please contact me. I have so many resources for you that can make that stop, make that voice stop, you know, and get into a space where you're just like in love, in love with yourself, in love with your body and, and there's no more criticism and judgment and shame and fear. It feels amazing, like from somebody who used to live that way and lives this way now, because there's no comparison. Like it's the entire world is different. Everything feels different. It feels like opportunities are everywhere. I love getting dressed. I love going shopping for clothes. I love seeing myself in the mirror. It's really fun to wake up every single day and look in the mirror and be like, oh my gosh, wow, that's me. And be like, wow, I can't believe it more it improve i'm improving more today this is awesome that's a great feeling i used to like long for that i i feel like i would have like killed for that and i wanted it so bad before but i was just doing it all wrong you know and i'm not somebody who's special or um amazing and gifted at something or had some birthright to be healthier i'm not i mean look at me five years ago I was not healthy. I couldn't figure it out. I was so stuck. I'm just a girl who finally did figure it out. 
And now I'm here to share that with everybody I can because I don't want anyone to feel like I used to feel. It was awful. And if that's you, don't think like, oh, well, it's just not for me or I'm, I'm too old for that or I'm too young for that or I don't have the genetics for it or this or that. You have just as much right and qualifications to have a healthy body as anybody in this world. Biggest misconception of people's lives is when they tell themselves that they don't have the qualifications and it's not for them. It is for you. It's for everybody. And you can do it. You can have the right. Um, you can change your life in an instant. You can change your life right away, but you have to commit. you got to say, you know what? I'm going to do this. But you have to do it with the right the right process too. So it can't just be like, I'm just going to eat healthy food and I'm just going to work out more and I'm going to get the body that I want and the health that I want. For some people that works, but for the majority of the world, like the other 98% of people, you've got to get in here and you've got to get in here. So you've got to build your body with heart and you've got to build your body with love and you've got to build your body with a mindset and with a mood. You've got to get into those spaces where you're feeling good about who you are. It's going to change everything. If you're one of those people who just always is up and down and you can never count on anything, you've got to get to a space where you can count on it, where you can be consistent with it. Um, it's powerful. It's really powerful. And you guys can do it. Anybody can do it. So if you want another space to get started, try my nine minute workouts. It's nine minutes a day. That's it. And it's two moves, guys. Like that simple. That simple. That's what everybody's saying they love about it is that it's not like all these intimidating crazy moves it's two moves um each day and they're different each day but you repeat it through the nine minutes and it's full of love like i pack it with so much love that you leave just feeling like that was awesome and i can't wait to do it again so that's just a little resource i have for you so let me wrap it up for you guys the main things that we said were First off, small steps. Second, mood and mindset. Third, love. Those are your main things in order to get started with having a healthy body. But if you wanna just pick one, cause I know sometimes it feels overwhelming to do a bunch, just pick one and just start small. Just say, what would be fun for me? What can I do? Like, how can I make my breakfast a little bit healthier? I'm not gonna take on every single meal. Just how can I make my breakfast a little healthier? Or how can I make my um, how can I make my fitness fun? What would be fun for me today? I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go be active by doing that. Cause then eventually you're gonna feel so good that you're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna take on something more intense, you know? Like then after I I got into the routine of stuff, I was like, I'm gonna try spin class. And then I did it, and I was like, this is awesome! I can't believe I've been missing out on this. So you gotta just get yourself into the the momentum of it. The momentum is very important. So. Guys, thanks for joining me. I have a private Facebook group, Body Built by Love Family, that if you're not a part of that, you should definitely go join. I put motivation in it. I post in it every single day. It's amazing. We have over a thousand amazing women in it. Um, make sure you find me on Instagram. I'm always posting fun recipes in my Insta stories. Um, this video will be on YouTube afterwards, along with all the other episodes of the Fit and Fearless Female Show. So if you want to get more info, that's a great place. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And other than that, check out my website, stephendel.com. I have tons of courses, tons of programs, all kinds of different things. You can find what fits best for you. I also do private mentorship, which is by phone. That's a very exclusive um, option for somebody who wants very private coaching. So what was your favorite part of today? I want you to leave me a comment below. What did you learn? What did you love? What are you gonna utilize in your life right now? Or if you've already done it, comment below and let us celebrate with you. Um, oh, one last thing that I wanna make sure I mention is that I'm doing a course right now. Uh, it hasn't started yet. It's called Be Fit, Live Happy. I'm doing it with my fiance, Josh and my friends Lynette and Jonathan. Lynette is the organic guru. She has the book Fuel for the Body. She's an uh, author. Um, she's one of the, the most clean thinking, healthy people who's gonna help you take all the toxicity out of your life. Jonathan's gonna help you bring all the happiness into your life. Josh is gonna show you movement, mobility, yoga, and I'm gonna be your fitness expert for that, showing you how to make fitness really fun. So if you wanna be a part of that, we have a group called Be Fit, period, live happy, exclamation point. 
you can join that and we'll give you details on how to join that course. That course starts February 10th. So if you want to get in on that, get in on it fast because we're starting really soon. Thank you all for staying. Thanks for being here. I love you so much. Just know that you are so worthy of the healthiest body, the healthiest life ever. You're worth it. You deserve it. You get to have it. It's your right to have it. So stand up, raise your hand and say, I want that. You ever seen Napoleon Dynamite? She's like, oh, I want that. <laughs> Josh and I always joke about that. Gina said, your vibe is contagious and I love your story. The fact that you used to struggle and now you're thriving is awesome. Thank you, Gina. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's definitely been a big journey for me. And um, yeah, I think all of my excitement and energy just comes from living that better lifestyle. When you're loving on yourself, woo, it's different. It's really different than hating yourself. <laughs> and I hated myself for a long, long time. And it's not a matter of just making yourself look different. It's literally just a matter of like thinking different. And that's all it takes. So yay, super easy. Love you guys. It's been amazing today. I'll see you again next Monday at 3 p.m. See ya.